So the question is, will Vibes Cartel and his associates get justice? Given the already high level of publicity and the continued high crime environment in Jamaica. Well, I'm going to give my two cents in this. From the jump, I was one of the persons who said Vibes Cartel wasn't coming out. And I base my opinion on the amount of evidence which the witness testifying as well as you know these uh, weird voice notes and other stuff but the Privy Council from when I was watching it I realized they are more interested in the uh, jury the juror that, that was corrupted and found guilty and to be honest that is a constitutional issue and from what the judges said that's not written into the Jamaican uh, laws or constitution so pretty much what the judges said I don't I don't know if you guys realize it. We have never had a retrial case in Jamaica. Let me repeat that again. We have never had a retrial case in Jamaica. And to me, that is very sad. Uh, very alarming. It, it shows how the system is. Now, like I said, I am not a fan of Vice Cartel. But because I break down the legal team as how I get it. One of the lawyers in Vice Cartel case said that when the jury was corrupted, the chief prosecutor, the DPP, at the time went into the judge's chamber and pretty much convinced the judge to go ahead with the trial now where things get sticky in in any court case jamaica or abroad the judge of the law say and the judge word is the law so if the judge decides to move ahead with the trial that's what's gonna happen now the privy council quashed quashed it and from what i understand squash mean they send it back to the appeal court so if they don't retry him he's gonna walk free that's what squash mean or quash or whatever the hell it is but that's what it means now this would be a good time uh, and the Jamaican legal system right now it's a good time for them to step up and show me the motion show me your motion because this case is a landmark case in Jamaica and a landmark case in the other Caribbean islands that is run by the uh, Privy Council as well as not the Privy Council so this is definitely a landmark case but can you imagine since Jamaica has been a country there has never been a retrial in any case and stuff like that is very troubling if that was some other country like America there would definitely be some kind of uh, government appointed investigation
investigator like a judge to go over all these cases and 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 see what's going on because there is no way you can have a country and you never have a retrial in any case and i and i think that's the bigger picture the Privy Council is, is is saying. So it's like six of one, half dozen of the other. If Vibes Cartel didn't get charged and stuff, we would have not understood or understand what's going on in the court system. The court system you know, I'm gonna use this this language. It's totally fucked up. You understand? The DPP she has too much power. You understand? And they have to rewrite some of these laws or amend them. To, to include like what the Privy Council said if if something is defunct in a case it, it, it needs to be it needs to be a retrial how can you have a country and you don't have a retrial and that doesn't make sense to me now the next thing I want to talk about is uh the Jamaica Court of Appeal, like I said earlier, now is the time they should show with the motion. And, you know, they, 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 how can I put it? If they get up tomorrow and say Vibes Cartel should be free because of the mistake of the judge in the lower case, lower court will charge him. I think that would be a bold move and it would be a good look for Jamaica and the Caribbean because his rights in terms of a fair trial was violated but the problem we are having and I want you guys listen to us not listen to me no no fair trial and stuff like that I don't think it's written in the constitution like how it's written in America or maybe other places you see what I'm saying so the the the, the language of the constitution it's different and i think the dpp plays on stuff like that that's what i'm saying now another case that is gonna have some problems in terms of all the the the, the government there with it is is the uh, clansman then because the clansman then I think the judge made a, and the prosecutor then they made a lot of bumbling moves and it opens up if these guys can take their stuff to a higher court it opens up a can of worms like vibes cartel you see what i'm saying so for too long the system like more wanting to understand like i said me, me i'm just being fear and even if them show video with vibes cartel i do the crime or whatever we are dealing with the constitutional part of this thing and the jamaican system like like i said has never 
never ever ever had a case retry. I mean that's like that reminds me of like somebody I know. The lady who burnt me. She is never wrong. She is always right. Madness. Madness. Total madness. So the government lawyers because each each uh the government like the police force and the army they have lawyers you know that they 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 use to vet their actions in terms of the mother do a curfew or whatever the mother legal team so I'm quite sure the legal team within some of these government agency should be scratching their heads and be like yo we really need to fix this so if we don't have a retrial written in the system then it's fair to say we can't have a fair trial if there is no retrial but yeah it was very alarming to me that you can't get your case retried and the appeal court they upheld the conviction that's why Vibes Cartel appealed to the privy now it's back to them and like I said if the judges are real judges and, 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 and they look cause if they look at the time from the time he got arrested to the time he spent in jail to the uh to the jury stuff <coughs> the appeals they how can I put it there is nothing written in the system you know but What the judges them should do, the appeal judges, they should fix it with this decision and this case. And they should they should they should write write it out their decisions and, and, and make it public because there is no way you cannot have a retrial in a system. If you can, if you can get get a retrial, might as well you plead guilty. You see what I'm saying? And if the like I said, I don't know why the judges then in Jamaica, like like I guess the privy council explain it. It's not written in in the law, but at the same time as a judge. As a judgment, come on. As a judgment, you want to tell me you sitting on that bench, and when somebody comes in front of you, you want to make sure their constitutional rights is upheld. I think Sykes was trying to do that somewhat in the black man case you know what I'm saying where you know he was trying to you know make sure them rights upheld okay, that's why he made certain decisions but at the same time they fumble but as a judge you know you is the law of the land and you want to make sure 
your upholding the people them constitutional rights. Like you have some country, Canada, America, England, England just showed you. And I I know of a judge. You know you if if you as a policeman go into that judge court and you don't read a person their rights in the right way and and the judge that judge is gonna let you out and i know of another judge i'm just telling you this if you go into his court for a shooting a robbery you're gonna get bail but if you go in this court for any kind of drugs case I don't care you could just have a little joint a little spiff on you you're not getting bail and the judge made it clear his daughter OD'd on drugs so he not like not name drugs and a lot of his decision he made it was always question and some of it over term once to go to a IRP court so yeah so judges come on this one the world the eyes of the world everybody is on the court of appeal in Jamaica and like I said it's either they give him bail, retry him, retry him and give him bail, or let this man go. And that's where I see it, for real, for real, for real. I said I wasn't going to do anything on it, and I ended up jumping in it. But this is just my opinion and observation. Listen, my name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on another video. I'm out.